inside the National Gallery of Modern Arts with Union Minister Minakshi Lekhi who has agreed to show us the insides of what the rich cultural heritage and history of India that the VVIPs will be witnessing after perhaps 24 hours. Ma'am, thank you so much for showing this to NDTV. Please explain to us what makes this so special. So this is a treasure trove uh, of a sort which nobody has witnessed. This is uh, a chariot which is 2000 BC, 1800 to 2000 BC year old and these are actually two chariots excavated from Sinoli. The excavation process itself was so important and now showcasing that for public consumption is also something which is, which is, which is going to be a treat in itself and you would see antenna, you will see the shield which is there. Come, I'll show you the shield. See the shield. This is the shield. What is the shield? Shield, when you fight. Yes, so what makes this really special? 2,000 year old, 5,000 year old. It's 2000 plus BC. And uh, the copper frames, the design, everything you find is preserved along with the mud. So the top part has been able, we, we, we've been able to preserve and conserve. This is 2000 BC. So NGMA is old enough. From where <laughs> did you excavate all this? No, which no, is no, going no. to be kept only for the uh, G20 uh, oh, oh, leaders and their spouses. So you must understand, NGMA is National Gallery of Modern Art. But we have our uh, reserve collection which is also 300, 400 year old and I laugh about it. The many countries will have their, uh, uh, you know, history 400, 500 year old but uh, uh, this is our modern history. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is ancient history which is 2000, 3000 BC and this is particular tablet which is from again 2nd century BC period, Brahmi inscription, a child is sitting with a tablet and writing. And this written form is of Brahmi script on a tablet, on a wooden plate and, or a slate as we used to write. And on one side we have this Brahmi script, on the other side we have Karusti script which is left to right and that is what we used to use that also. And uh, uh, you'll be happy to see we have this piece here, exquisite in its sense, this is Shain Chiti which is used in Rigved and Rigved Samhita in which you'll find many uh, writings about it, 1200 to 1500 BC. And uh, uh, this is... So this is the tradition, history, heritage of India which is on display. My question is where was it till now? Oh, these, these, are, these, are, these, were, these have been procured from across the country. Uh, some are lying in Indian Museum, some are lying in Mathura some were lying in uh, uh, National Museum, so on and so forth. So these are things which were not curated in the sense. Can you see this book? This book is in Sanskrit and uh, this is from National Museum and this is about treating horses for the diseases and Ayurveda for horses. So this is this, this particular part we are calling it uh, Sanskrit. These are antiquities and I thought I will take you to the Buddhist part of it how we have used digital technology and uh, look at these pieces can you can you imagine few century bc and first second third century ad uh, this kind of exquisite carving on a, on rocks such beautiful carvings so we are showcasing our ancient heritage with the modern uh, with the modern use of technology that uh, you can see how we've utilized digital technology to showcase this Amravati collection. When did the work begin? How many months have oh. taken for this? It's been, I mean, we've been conceptualizing, working and um, I, can, I can definitely say five, six months we've sort of worked at it. Many um, do's and uh, redone and uh, scrapped and restarted. Look at these beauties. These, the all this handcrafted. The intricate carving of the absolutely, stones. Absolutely, absolutely. And and you would appreciate that. Uh, you know, just these negatives, just these negatives are hundred year old. These are glass negatives because glass that, negatives. 
100 year old procured when <laughs> we don't know yeah, yeah so these were lying in our stack we have a few thousand of them uh, whatever technology was available at that point in time and uh, these glass negatives also are antiquities in themselves these were research objects and uh, let me show you to this virtual experience please go ahead ajanta and alora oh this and is Buddhist. ajanta and alora caves that we are entering yeah in. yeah everything uh, carefully piece. preserved yes and and uh, done with lot of effort absolutely maitri buddha the mustache and the headgear gandhara style what you call afghanistan today is what india was so are we now in the last leg of this no, exhibition no 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 Or this is this is this is this one floor and then this second floor okay so several and, layers uh, several several layers because how do you know a country like ours which has 6000 7000 year old civilization i mean no one span is enough and i sometimes say this i say look i'm a indian and i'm a proud indian i have lived all my life here hopefully will die here uh, but one lifetime is not enough to know my country there are layers and layers in akhnur i mean look at these uh, this is from german kashmir and calm yeah this is what kashmir uh, was and is turning out to be today yes how exquisite i mean i am completely speechless to say the least i mean when we are looking at these pieces and and the kind of the the entire exercise of putting it together and the energy and effort which would have gone into curating this i want to show you this because we are talking about women and we are talking about fashion look at this uh this is from takshila a few century bc Can you see the craftsmanship? Yes. Pure gold necklace. Necklace. Look at this earpiece. I think it it requires a lot of explanation also that has to be given to the visiting dignitaries. Absolutely. No, but it's. Uh, I, I think women will understand. Men the will understand. The pendants and the. No, everybody. Yes. I mean, this class of people understand. Uh, Uh, look at this bracelet yeah it's from 1st century ce yeah and and the gold is still shining absolutely that's why it's called gold <laughs> <laughs> look at the ring the, the ring the gold ring it's called intricately designed the front of the ring has an elegant arc with three hollow sockets Means that must that have been stones actually must have been your yeah embellishments yeah should we end yeah. the conversation here yeah. ma'am with yeah. your yes, final thank thought thank you very much with your final thought so my final thought is um, i think i have already said that one lifetime is not enough to know my country but uh, how i wish repeatedly i get born here Uh, but to showcase my country to the people visiting us at this time and occasion being G20 we've tried our best to showcase all that is best in this country and yet uh, we have a problem of plenty there is so much to showcase we've just put in a small fraction in front of the people in actually a pleasure speaking to you thank and thank you. you for showcasing this for NDTV